Well, good evening. Welcome to the Idahoan Show. Um, you know, the other day I had to cut some fiberglass insulation with this knife, and uh, since glass, of course, is harder than steel, um, cutting glass fibers with a steel knife results in a very dull knife. So I was just going to go sharpen it up, um, but then it occurred to me that in this day and age, um, I run into far too many men who really don't know how to sharpen a knife properly. And so as uh, sort of a public service here, I thought I would videotape this process and upload it to my YouTube channel for the benefit of anyone who doesn't already know. Anyway, so here's our knife. Here is a basic whetstone. This, you know, these are available at any hardware store. They're relatively cheap. They typically come in a dual uh, grit with a coarse side and a fine side. Even the fine side of these stones is actually quite coarse. Um, and so we're going to use this stone as a starter, but we're also going to move up to some finer grits further on. So to begin with, uh, we're going to oil the stone. Um, I use this is actually just a, a standard cutting oil like you'd use with uh, any machining operation. And make sure the stone is oiled. And the coarse side here, we're really only going to use to grind the edge itself. You know, we've, we've dulled this knife pretty significantly trying to cut glass fibers, and so we need to re-grind the edge. Um, once the edge has been formed, we don't use the coarse side of this stone for actual sharpening. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but we've restored the contours of the edge there. Um, you know, it's very, very rough grind. Uh, it's not very sharp yet, but we've restored the uh, the proper angle for that edge, and so that's all we're going to do on the coarse side of the stone. Now we just wipe off any excess oil, flip it over, oil the other side, and begin our actual sharpening process on the fine side of our stone. Okay, uh, now we've completed the first stage of the sharpening process, and obviously you can't see it on the camera, but as I feel this edge, I can feel a burr forming on the side of the blade. That means the, the edge has been ground down to the point where the, you know, the, the grinding planes meet, and we're ready to move up to the finer grits. Our coarsest sharpening grit, this the finer side of this stone, basically allows us to grind those edges down to the point where they meet and that bur burr begins to form. Once that burr is formed, we then go to progressively finer grits of stone to file off that burr and hone the edge to the degree that, uh, or to the degree of sharpness that is required. Next I'm going to move up to a 750 grit diamond stone. Uh, we still need a honing lubricant, but you never want to use oil-based lubricants with a diamond stone. Um, so here I have a sort of an improvised uh, water-based honing solution. You, know, you can buy water-based honing solutions at hardware stores, but most of them are frankly water-thin and don't work worth anything. Um, so this is a homemade honing solution. It's sort of a gel. It's made from water, soap, and cornstarch all kind of boiled together. Uh, so we'll put a little of that on our stone and then begin honing off that burr that we formed in the first stage of the sharpening.
Okay, now our burr is just about gone. Our edge is looking good. Uh, so now we'll move up to an ultra fine natural stone. Uh, this is, I don't know, I guess maybe 2,000 grit or even 4,000. Um, I got it second hand, so I don't know for sure. The previous owner, as you can see, managed to break a piece off of it, but we've got enough left here to, uh, to sharpen on. All right, now that burr is completely gone, you know, the edge is nice and smooth. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's taken on a, a mirror-like finish. So we're almost done here. Uh, we, now we put away our stones. And for the final stage of sharpening, the knife is actually stroked on the palm of your hand. Okay, as you can see, that knife is fairly sharp. It's taking hairs off my arm very easily. But you know, the ultimate test of the sharpness of a knife is not just taking hairs off your arm, uh, but actually shaving your face. Facial hair has different mechanical properties than arm hair. It's much more wiry. So what I think I'll do now is move that camera to my hands-free shoulder mount and then I'll go see if I can take off some facial hair with this thing. Well, maybe not quite the cleanest, closest shave I've ever had, but that certainly does the job. So anyway, thanks for watching. Keep your knives sharp.